Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. VR, foo, 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 that's right. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Within, which is a really cool VR media platform app. Similarly to Inception last time, they also go out, collaborate with people and uh, try to feature the best content they find on their platform. So without further ado, there's a lot of cool stuff. Let's jump into the Oculus Go. Okay, so last time we looked at the app called Inception, which is also another media VR app. Uh, which work with partners to generate content and similarly within is pretty much the same so uh, they work with partners who they will then feature the content on their platform trying to post you know the best of the best that's out there and work with collaborators so after the app has loaded you'll be put in a in an environment which is semi 3d semi realistic so i guess 3d realistic uh, and it's very peaceful here. The music that's here is very relaxing. Uh, it takes about, you know, 30 seconds to 40 seconds for the app to load before the screen comes up. And they have different, excuse me, they have different categories also. So they have new releases, which they release, I think maybe once every month or two months or so. Uh, they have animated, uh, music, documentary, horror, experimental, or and download it. So uh, the difference between Inception and Within is that you can actually download the content and then you can watch it later on without the Wi-Fi. And I do like that. Um, I hope that Inception will actually do this in a pre in a in a next update also. So um, some of this content is really cool. Again, like and subscribe uh, and click the bell notification because I will be reviewing some of this content in a new show that we're going to be releasing weekly quite soon. Uh, and I'll be filtering out all the best of the best and telling you, you know, which ones are worth watching and with which ones, you know, maybe aren't that much, you know, worth of your time. So for example, the People's House, which is a tour with uh, Obama is actually a really cool one to watch. Um, so you have options. Option one, you can stream it using your Wi-Fi. And then option two, you can download it. Or you can go to back to menu. So they have a nice picture up there and then a little description here. So let's just click on stream and take a look. Okay, so it takes uh, maybe 30, 40 seconds to load, by the way. And I'm here in front of the White House. So the compression is actually pretty good. Uh, I would compare it to VR and YouTube VR as well as Inception. Uh, sorry, Facebook, as I mentioned before, your compression rate is really bad. Uh, something you need to work on. So this is a time lapse and we're in front of the White House to start off with. Uh, so I just click on the trigger and then I can hold my trigger. And then you'll see uh, you'll be greeted by Obama himself. There he is and then click play. So I can also pause, click on the trigger, uh, pause it. Ah, okay. So here he is. I mean, we're really close. It really feels like I'm really sitting next to him. It's really amazing. Uh, we're here in the Oval Office um, and it's just, I mean, they've done a great job on the quality uh, of this documentary. I've gone through the entire thing. It's not very long. Uh, and you also get to meet uh, Michelle Obama and they basically, you know, give you some stories as to what happened during the presidency in different rooms. So it's pretty interesting. Okay, uh, we click on back. So uh, they have other content we can look at also. Um, another very interesting one. Let me see if they still have it because they do update their app quite a lot. Uh, I think it's in the experimental section. So let's check out some Kinoscope. I'm not quite, oh, La Fuga. La Fuga looks very interesting. It looks like more of an arty kind of thing. And they also give you a little warning to say intense audio and visuals. So be ready for that. Streaming doesn't take long when you click, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, of course. Uh, but once it's uh, pre-downloaded everything online, it will just take maybe 30 seconds and then that's it. Uh, this one is much faster. Okay, so I'm holding still. I can tell it's gonna move a lot. It does help. Uh, when you're watching things that move a lot to, to stay still, so to avoid any potential 
busyness. And also when new content starts, it's good to look back also because sometimes there are things happening over there that you know you don't see in front of you. Remember, VR is a complete immersed experience. So it would be a great shame not to look everywhere because there are things happening everywhere. So let me just fast forward a little, fast forward a little bit. This is created by Adrien Renier. Pray. Wow, okay. Wow, so when I stay still, I can really feel the, the effect that he's trying to do in making me feel really like I'm falling a little bit. Okay, I stop because I don't want to give you guys, uh, you know, any, any headaches or anything like that on your screen. But it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and there's, you know, quite a few of these kind of um, this kind of contact. Oh, and then finally, let's uh, just look at this one. Sanctuary of Silence is really awesome. Uh, it's basically the story of this guy who works as a, um, as, as, a, as a sound engineer who's been, you know, recording sounds for all types of different people, all types of different world. And he's basically reviews noise pollution and watching this in VR, especially having your, your headphones on, uh, is super immersive and you know you really understand what he's trying to say so he compares and contrasts how cities have basically been growing and sound pollution now has you know infected unfortunately every single inch of earth even in the most remote of places uh, there's no way apparently anymore not to hear any man-made kind of sound so uh, he starts off here and then if we fast forward a little bit, he then goes into different environments. Um, so yeah, and then, and then he takes you through his story and his story is really touching, I think, and really cool. So Within is a really nice place to watch and immerse yourself in some VR content. The quality of the content that they post here, you cannot upload your own content as mentioned before. This is a media VR um, app, but you know I have to admit that the content they post is really good for people who want to try out what it's like to get into VR, be immersed in VR and watch content in VR that's meant for VR and not meant for phones or tablets or computers or anything like that. Uh, most of the content here is really short and sweet. Uh, it doesn't last very long, maybe three minutes or five minutes or so. so it's uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice place to watch some really cool stuff. Here, for example, you have no career in, in VR 360. Uh, so yeah, all right. Let's get out of Oculus. Okay, so today we looked at Within, which is a cool VR media platform app. Who go out there and try to seek the best content as possible and work with collaborators to put them on their platform, which is similar a little bit to Inception, but the content is slightly different. So I do uh, recommend you to use to, to go and check out both apps. And then next week I will review uh, one more VR media platform app so that you can see the difference. It's a really good way for new VR users uh, to get onto VR to really absorb. VR 360 content um, and also see the difference between VR 360 and 180 also because they're actually quite different. All right, remember to like and subscribe, share some love. Let's grow the community, you and I together. Comment below, bing, 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 as many ideas and suggestions so that I can go out there and potentially shoot that content. Yeah. All right, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Take it easy, DJ. Cue music. <laughs>